Hi, Jason. Congratulations on the win. Uh, so first and foremost, why don't you go ahead and take us through your fantastic performance tonight? How'd you see this fight going down? Break it down for us. Which fight? The main, main event? No, no, no. Your, take us through your performance and your fight of your yours. Well, I'm I'm satisfied with the win, but I'm not satisfied with the performance. But it's back to the drawing board because um, Jordan Mean is a well-game opponent. So, you know, I, w I just want to prove to everybody, even though he had 12 wins, and, I mean, 12 losses, and I only had 12 wins. I mean, I only had 11 wins compared to 12 losses. I want to prove to everybody that my record, it doesn't match up to my skill set. Now, you said that you weren't uh, happy with your performance. Why was that? Because it seemed like you were pretty smooth out there, and, and you got the win pretty easily. I'm not happy because I'm, I didn't see my performance. You did. Well, it looked good to me, man. Um uh, I guess moving on then, uh, I wanted to ask you to, about Henry Hoof and your camp down in uh, South Florida there. Uh, how, how's it been working down there, and, and how's that helped elevate your game? It's great because all every guy that I train with is high-level guys. Guys that's in the UFC or a guy that had the champ and, and you know, all doing their own thing, but I train all high-level guys. So coming in here, it was, I, wasn't, I wasn't nervous, and I was kind of nervous because I wasn't nervous, but... The fact that I had nerves, I was like, all right, it's real. It's real. And then the last thing for me, uh, when do you want to get right, back inside again? question comes from the line of Keith Schilling. You're now live. Uh, Jason, thanks for uh, um, taking me. Uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, you're now 3-1 in Bellator. Your only loss was a very close uh, split decision to Ed Ruth that many people thought you win. Any chance you asked the matchmakers to put that fight back together? Well... Let's see, because Edward lost his last fight, and I've been on two fight winning streak. All right, uh, you've also mentioned uh, possible interest in fighting the champion. Yeah, he just went through the Grand Prix, which means he's faced a lot of other top contenders. He hasn't faced you yet. How far away do you think that matchup is? Two more fights. All right, thank you. Our next question comes from the line of Randall Folks. Your line is live. Hey, Jason, uh, from what we thought was a performance, performance uh, what did you take away from it? The, the fact, you know, fight IQ is the fact that, you know, when I dropped them with that two, I should have let them back up. That just shows that I have poor fight IQ when I ran over and gave him a break and fall on top of him. So that's why I'm kind of a little disappointed. But I didn't, really didn't get to see the whole fight. And I had a slow start a little bit. So when you go back home and you start working on it, is that something that you're going to try to implement into the next fight? Absolutely. Monday. Or even Saturday as soon as I get in. Where do you feel like you are in the welterweight power rankings? At the bottom, like I have been saying. All right, well, that's enough for me. A phenomenal performance, and I can't wait to see you again. Thank you so much. And I can't wait to perform for you again, sir. Our next question comes from Andrew Benjamin. Your line is live. Hey, Jason. Congrats on the win. Um, I noticed that you did say that you had like two more fights before going to cha uh, space the champion. Uh, who would you have in mind, ideally, if you were to, uh, for those two fights? If you had a I don't choice? care. I don't care. A fight is a fight. Whoever Bellator think I should fight, because look at this. This is my third fight in my contract. And it's already a co-main event, a guy with over 40 fights. So whatever they throw at me, I'm just going to throw right back at them because, hey, I'm training. And I beat Douglas Lima, my brother, before Diego Lima. Don't disrespect the Diego Lima. Hey, thank you very much. Congrats again. All right. All right, our next question comes from the line of Kevin Vargas. Your line is live. Hey, Jason, congrats on the win. Uh, during the fight, it seemed like you heard Jordan Mean in the leg really bad. Yeah. Did your corner ever give you the advice of take him out, you know, take his leg out, force him, you know, force him to stand back up. If you can hurt the leg as much as you can, just keep hurting it. No, because I, I don't think they even knew I was going through um, shin low kick. Like I said, it's just something that my teammate has been using on me. And I was like, why am I not using on people? So, I, all right. I last question. Oh, sorry. Last no, go ahead. question is, uh, did you plan on, like, making a statement by finishing Jordan Mean, or did you plan on going the distance with him? 
I plan on winning. That's what I plan on doing because that just proved a lot. Saying that Jordan Mean has 12, 12 losses and only have 11 wins. So it just mean a lot just winning the fight. You know, even though I want to finish him, I didn't want to I, I didn't want to lose the fight. All right, our final question comes from Matthew Putterman. Your line is live. Hey, Jason, congrats on the win. Just the, the first question, I mean, I had to say right away is your strike look phenomenal tonight. The low kicks look nice. Your hands look real crisp. But uh, the one question I got for you is how quickly would you like to get back in there? When is the next card? That's so uh, August, or August 7th. Well, that's, the, that, that's when I want to get on. <laughs> is there any specific <laughs> opponent? What was that? Any specific opponent in mind next? No, I just want to fight. I'm a fighter. I love it. Congrats on the win, man. Thank you so much. All right, Jason, thank you very much for your time and congratulations.